struggles in the kitchen. It was our morning buzz today. I want to bring in Double T right now to see if he's feeling this as well. But good morning to you. Your dress is food today. Yeah, pizza. I like yes, it. Yes, some pizza today. Yeah. <laughs> it's something easy to make, a frozen pizza. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, actually, Marcus was talking about cooking, and he's like, Yeah, I cook. I take the spaghetti sauce, pour it from the can <laughs> into the loop. I said, That is not cooking. That is cooking in my book. Yeah. Right, cooking, people. That's Marcus. How I, I got your back on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like it. <laughs> I can't cook either, though, so I, I really shouldn't say that. Well, apparently, I'm not alone because. Americans are struggling this right now, so we're talking about what's considered simple dishes. And hardest meal, apparently, according to this poll, pancakes. 38% of people saying they struggle making pancakes. How how's your flip? How's your pancake? My pancakes are not good. They're like they're like snowflakes. Everyone is completely different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're never round. Sometimes they're a little burnt. Sometimes they're not cooked enough. Sometimes they're thick. Sometimes they're thin. They're, they're just a mess. And then the kitchen is destroyed. Oh, it's What's horrible. It <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's so much work that goes into it. Oh, yeah, definitely. That pancake mix gets a little bit of everywhere. Now, are there some things that you can cook well? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good on the grill. Okay. As long okay. as I'm paying attention. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> uh, when I'm cooking, and then I go inside and do something, and then it gets burnt. That, that's been a problem every once in a while. Or I try to cook it too fast, yeah. yeah. And I have it, the heat turned up too high, and it cooks too fast and burns. So I have to be careful with that. I have to really pay attention. Apparently, that's considered a crime with this uh, survey. That you, <laughs> if you burn something, it's a food crime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree with that. Actually, yeah. I think it's horrible when you burn things, unless you're trying to blacken something, like yeah. you're blackening fish or something like that. But if you're burning it, that's a no. And also. So another one with this story, over seasoning yes. the food is a, a crime as well. Oh yeah, I've done that too. You put you, you, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then at the end it's just too much, and everyone's like, "What's wrong with this?" You're like, "This is on? awful." Like, <laughs> have a Papa John's on speed dial. <laughs> <in our house. laughs> so what do you have going on today? What are you guys working on? Uh, you know what? Um, just uh, I got some movie reviews later with Joe. Uh, I've got a, a young classic rocker by the name of Jack. He comes in and talks about some of his favorite bands. He's in he's in junior high, so it's always good to have him come oh, in that's and cool. have the youth come in and talk about music. So where that's did you find him? him? He just he's a fan of the show, and he called in. And he said he'd like to talk to me about uh, about music, and I said, well, come on in, and and I invited him in, and he's been a regular. Uh, I love visitors. that. That's oh, really yeah, cool. That's pretty awesome. The yeah, future of, the, of our generation here. So. You could say we knew him when. Yes. You know, when he was doing <laughs> exactly, the radio show. Exactly. <laughs> Do you keep the pizza costume on for your uh, guests? Uh, no, it'll be done as soon as I'm done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Double T, we always appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Thanks. Have a great week.